During the summer of 2023, Clallam County PUD completed rebuild of its transmission line between Ray Street and BPA in Port Angeles. This project involved replacing transmission poles supporting Clallam PUD transmission and distribution lines as well as the transmission feed to the McKinley paper mill. This project culminates a 15-year effort by the PUD to rebuild its Port Angeles Western feeder from a voltage level of 69 kV to 115 kV. Engineering drawings detail every facet of the construction project, including specific details for the construction of every new pole. The line is surveyed prior to construction to record the location of all existing facilities. Cannon Constructors was selected to be the prime contractor for the project. Construction of the new poles requires a lot of equipment. All of the parts and pieces required for construction are picked from PUD inventory and organized for the project. This material is then delivered to the job site, ready to build. The new poles are of two-piece fiberglass construction and are assembled by PUD crews. The new poles are then also delivered and staged at the job site. The holes for the new poles are excavated by vacuum suction to a depth of 9 feet. Called framing the pole, all of the insulators, cross arms and other attachments are mounted to the pole while it is still on the ground and more easily accessible. One of the poles supports a 115 kV transmission switch used for switching the transmission line. With the process of framing all of the new poles complete, it is time to begin setting them into their new homes in the ground. Heavy duty mats are used to stabilize the soft ground so that heavy line trucks can access one of the new pole locations. The weight of the massive vacuum suction truck was too much to reach this location, so this hole was dug with an auger. After much planning, coordination, hard work and preparation, planting season is finally here. Time to plant those poles into the ground. In short order, skilled crews carefully lift and set the massive 75 foot tall pole into the ground. The first part of the project requires new wire. Massive spools of 556 all aluminum conductor wire weighing nearly one pound per foot and nearly an inch in diameter are brought in for installation. This wire is then cut to length and compression dead end connectors are pressed on to the wire. The wire is then lifted to the top of the structure and connected to the cross arm. Fear of heights is definitely not in the lineman's job description. Great day for installing wire. Safety grounds are installed to protect the lineman, who then begin preparing the old poles for demolition by detaching the wire from the old pole. Most of the work can be completed from the bucket, but some requires the lineman to climb the pole. Guy wires, which will no longer be used, are cut loose and the march of construction continues, putting poles into the ground and attaching new conductors. The next phase of construction centers around a three-day scheduled outage with the McKinley paper mill. A small armada of vehicles is brought in to complete the task on time. The framed poles are then set onto a heavy-duty truck for delivery to where they will be installed. A 75-foot tall pole being carried on top of a work truck is a very impressive sight and feat. Weighing nearly a ton and made of fiberglass construction, the pole dwarfs the truck carrying it, which accomplishes the task with ease. The new poles are set on the ground near the pole they will be replacing, staged and ready for installation. Line crews set up their trucks in the road and begin the process of installing the new pole. These poles are big and heavy. Lifting and maneuvering them into position can be very dangerous. Attention to every detail of the entire process ensures the crew's safety. Tried and true, a plumb bomb is used to ensure the pole is perfectly straight in the air. Once the pole is set in the ground, the hole is backfilled with crushed rock and compacted with a hydraulic tamper to lock it securely into place. And the process repeats, one pole at a time. Skilled crews make the work look easy. 
Here, the pole is literally threading the needle as it is carefully lifted up in between existing conductors. After much hard work, the final pole stands proudly in the air. The next task is to pull in the new conductor. A rope pulling machine is set up at one end of the line which will be used to pull the new wire in. Colored ropes identifying each phase are carefully threaded through each new pole in the line. Once again, large spools of wire holding over 7,000 feet of wire and weighing over 6,000 pounds are set on a wire tensioning machine to be pulled into the new line. One by one, the new conductors are carefully pulled into place and then secured to insulators on each new pole. Standing proud and tall in the air, another project is successfully completed by Clallam County PUD, bringing clean, reliable energy to its customers for many years into the future.